Colleen Rooney, how the heck are you? doing great. We're so proud. We're so proud to partner with KYW. I don't know if anybody knows of QVC, but we're certainly proud to be a part of this event. We love our QVC family, and we're happy to meet everyone here tonight. I got to meet some of the honorees and some other folks, and so great energy. Great energy here tonight. I recommend. I wish I would have just been comfortable in my own skin earlier in life. Like, what was I doing? You know, just be, we all have our own unique fingerprint. We have our own unique brain and personalities like just be yourself and and just be so comfortable in your own skin because you're a gift to the world and so you know it's there's that Marianne Williamson quote that Nelson Mandela quoted a bunch of times about who are your our greatest fear is not you know darkness it's our own light and it's our own power so I wish I would have figured that out a long time ago Please give a warm round of applause for this year's honorees. What we're going to do is welcome them to the stage. So as we call your name, come on up, have a seat. We have two benches here, and we're going to get to know you a little bit better. Uh, Kristen DeMarco, founder of Gateway Horseworks. We have Kelly Gallagher, founder of the Superheroes Project. Uh, next up is Dr. Monique Gary, breast surgical oncologist at Grandview Health. <laughs> uh, next we have Lynette Luker. <laughs> Oh, now it's a competition because you know how we do, ladies. <laughs> founder, uh, Lynette is the founder of the Marion Lukers Kidney Foundation. Welcome. And Nicole Allen White, Director of Government Affairs for the Philadelphia Museum of Art. All right. It, it boils down to, um, to service. Because no matter who you are, no matter what you do, we live our lives to give them away. You know, we want to leave this earth with every talent that we have that is, is discovered, it's tapped into, it's used, it's given to somebody for something. With the Superhero Project, I have been able to not only find, I think, my calling, which has been a teacher, but my purpose, which has been to give back with the Superhero Project. Um, I, I think that the work-life balance is one of those things that you need to make time for to be successful. So if you don't find that time, you can't find success in other parts of your life. To the women who we work with that are in post-release from prison, who haven't ever experienced not being judged by a therapist, by their family, and being able to step into the arena with the horses and to get some acceptance in their life and not feel like their past, but feel like a human being. That's what keeps me working hard and trying to raise awareness. Just also helping students. At, I work at Community College of Philadelphia, and I also facilitate a support group for women and really just helping them navigate through that process, their personal development, their um, becoming professional students, and just helping them through the workforce environment. So through this, um, me helping others helps empower me, and I just love serving the community. So just every day, the women that I work with, um, that I'm friends with, uh, my mom, um, that are just, you know, incredibly strong women who who give off the, who exude the, um, you know, the strength that I hope to have in myself as well. This year's honorees get to go home with their crystal award, which is absolutely beautiful. They'll get a bouquet of flowers from Pilates Florist, a $100 gift card, and studio tour courtesy of QVC, a $100 Moore's Furniture gift card, and a wine basket courtesy of Chad's Ford Winery. Clink, clink.